Anyone want some wood? Want to buy some? Let me know. Put it in the comments. Today we are going to mill this giant piece of oak because originally I was going to log it. That's the reason I got this timber for chainsaw videos. Log it up, split it up, use it for firewood. But someone has convinced me that, oh no, I should mill it. I should turn it into planks of wood and use it for what this good bit of oak should be used for rather than burn it. Well, that person who's very excited about chainsaws and everything, and he's got his very own mill. This is Lars, everybody. Hi, yeah. We're going to be milling this up. I've got the MS881 here. Ready? Yeah. All right, let's get it set up and do some milling. It's very wet today, by the way. Devonshire weather. Devonshire weather. Perfect. Perfect for milling, he said. He loves milling in the wet. Wet weather, this guy. Amazing. We're Machinery Nation and we bring you videos every Tuesday and Friday all about tools and machinery. So please consider subscribing, hit that like button, ding that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Right, let's get cracking. Too much standing about, mate, waiting for me, eh? Yeah. So you, you sure you know what you're doing? What do you mean? With what? With what? camera stuff? No, but... <laughs> With your mail, like, you know? I know what I'm doing. Look, that's, already, that's one thing on it. So I've never done any milling before, and Lars has had it as a hobby for, what, what have you been doing it? Three or four years? Yes. Yeah, Two or three years? Yeah, so he's, he's got quite involved with it. He's done a few bits and pieces now, so I thought, well, let's give him a chance, get him to come and have a go with it. You never know, I might have a go as well. So it was the ladder for, like, climbing up, yeah? Yeah. The Lars reckons this is probably the biggest that his mill can handle. About 36 inch of the bar, just because... It's got the 41 inch bar, but the mill takes off a few inches. And with the 881, I did have the, no, with the 880, I did have the 48 inch bar. Yeah. You get quite a bit more with that. This is even his second saw. So he started out with a still 880, and now he has a still 881. Obviously the most powerful production saw available in the world. Right. Right, the big reveal, the first cut. Let's tip this off and then crack on and do some more. Ready? We're tipping it or we're sliding it. I'd slide it. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Woo! Look at that. Yeah. Nice. Look at that, Lars. Ah. We've got like a flat bit. I might just leave it like that. Keep use it as a garden table. Do a new video. Yeah, new table. video, new video table. Right, you ready to carve up another bit? Yeah. Cool. I'll just put the ladder on it. It's got a warp to it, I think. Right, another plank, put the ladder back on again, and go again. Ready? He's not ready yet. Unbelievable. Look at this! <laughs> Looking sexy. Where do you want it? Just stick it across cross, crossways. Got it. Flip it. And flip it. <laughs> oh mate. Look at that. Look at that beautiful stuff. Hey? Look at that. Nice? That is really nice actually. <laughs> This is the 
that is looking fantastic. Look at that. Makes a good firewood, wouldn't it, eh? <laughs> he hates me saying that. Go on, brush, brush, brush away. He wants to brush all day today. Anyone want some wood? Want to buy some? Let me know. Put it in the comments. I might have got some for sale. Beautiful oak. Look at the colour on it, eh, mate? Make some beautiful tables. go let's give a go at milling never done it before so bear with me tell me everything i've done wrong in the comment you'd love to do that on yeah boom <laughs> I produced a load of shit or anything. What's underneath, Lars? So, oh, hollow. Ah, oh, we found a hollow. Sleepy hollow. <laughs> oh, See, look, it was getting hollow. There's still some good there, though, isn't there? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Go on, one more strip, that'll do. So I am now the proud owner of nine oak two-inch slabs. How cool is that? How amazing is it to use a chainsaw mill to turn that oak, which would have just been firewood and burnt, into proper planks of timber. I've stacked it all up here nicely. I've actually stacked it upside down so it doesn't quite flow as well as it does. But it's all in order, so I'm quite happy. And I put this nice little roof for it on the top so it keeps the top dry, but the air can get in underneath. Absolutely perfect. I'd like to thank Lars so much for helping me do this because without him, I wouldn't have done it. So thank you so much, mate. Really appreciate it. But the sun is shining now. When we were milling this, it was pouring with rain. We were running out of daylight. So hence why it's now a different day. And I'm doing this on my own because Lars is no longer here. But thank you very much for watching. We're Machinery Nation. We bring you videos every Tuesday and Friday all about tools and machinery. So if you liked it, please subscribe, like the video and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Cheerio.